What's up guys? Today is Thursday. That's right. Mac Daddy Michael's here and this big old gigantic overstocked Mac truck. So let's see what he's got. You guys, come on. Gonna be good weather, not too hot. Gonna be a good weekend. We gonna try to get the, some work done on the camper and get it closer together and ready for hunting season. So there you go. Be a good weekend for that. I reckon we're gonna try to go to Steel Saturday night and watch Paxton P and them play. Okay. A good little old local band. That's right down the road from the house. Yeah, y'all need to come on up there. We'll be home this weekend. That'd be a good one. Is that the sockets that come with the impact kit or something? No, that is the quarter drives. Mm -hmm. That's the quarter drive experts. It, uh, just put them on here last night. Some of our tool fair stuff's coming in. Was that a new product or something? Um, they've been out for a little bit. I've just been waiting on more of them to show up. Um, a lot of people's go-to on quarter drives, they'll pick up that GP set real quick, you know, because mm -hmm. everybody knows they've make, made it for a long time. Um, but I've been having good luck with these expert quarters here lately. Um, I'm just trying to keep them displayed and let people see them. And Those are pretty good price on them? They are. They're pretty neck and neck on price. And so for all you guys that seen my video that I posted on Instagram about buying that new quarter inch kit from Michael last week, one of the batteries didn't charge. I got a look in and they was, was it 18 model batteries or something mm -hmm. like that? 19. 19. So, like, as soon as it happened, Michael texted me. He's like, hey, no sweat. I warrant it. I'll give you a brand new one. So he came in there this morning. Without me even having to ask him, he remembered. He walked right in the door with two brand new batteries. I'm like, here you go. So, if your dealer ain't that quality dealer, you need to tell him to go take a hike and get on the <laughs> truck that comes after him. But seriously, how pissed off would you have been if you had ordered that from Mac Tools website and it comes in that way? Yeah. Mm. And I imagine when they put those kits together, there's just, you know, a big Grabbing supply them. sitting there and they just grabbed what was on the shelf and put in them. I'd have been hot, buddy, if I'd have had to pay the shipping to send them batteries back and all that. That's them there. It's... And the nice thing about it, what you don't get in a lot of sets, you got your five, your 5.5, and no skips all the way up to 15. Mm -hmm. So how much is that one? They're not a, they are a pin, they're not a pinless. Right. But they still have really good range of motion on them. Cool. Yeah, you might as well check the price on that set. I like that. EO 041645. Good looking little sockets. Now that I got that new quarter inch impact. 144. Okay. That's not too bad. Mm -mm. Not too bad at all. Lifetime warranty like all the other expert stuff. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. I'm going to have to pick them up. You know what I forgot last week? to get because I got so excited over the stupid impact. I didn't get those stud pullers. <laughs> That's what I was after. Well, we still got some. That's what I was after. Was the well, end. I got the displays. There may be another set put up at the shop. I'd have to look. If any of them didn't see it last week, that's the metric stud pullers there. 
and the standard ones there. And those are a good price too for both of them. It's like you buy the standard for 84 bucks or 85 bucks and you get the metric ones free. Yep. So, and they're like $89 themselves if you had to buy them by themselves. So. Right. That is true. Well, what else you got up here? You Another got kind of new stuff laying up here. Our old buddy Brent. Yeah. He called me last week. He said, hey, give me one of these little screwdrivers. So I ordered a couple of them in. So what's special about them? Everybody loves the Mac ratcheting screwdriver. You know, the regular mm -hmm. average ring. The one that comes in that 121 right. piece set. Yeah, that's a and, good one. Um, he said, I want a stubby one. And honestly, didn't realize we had a stubby one. Not going to lie. Got in the book, found it for him, ordered it. And that is a nifty little deal there because um, it's just as nice as the regular ratcheting screwdriver that everybody likes, mm -hmm. which you can put it in the off position and it don't ratchet. It's just yeah. a regular screwdriver. That's the way I like to run them. And then, you know, you got your forward, you got your reverse, and it still comes the with bits. the bits in the end of it. Hmm. And it comes with your quarter adapter in it as well. Yeah, I like to run them in the non-ratcheting position. I don't know why. I just... Just like using it as a screwdriver. I don't know why. Like, I, I've got several ratcheting screwdrivers. Brent actually sent me a message yesterday and says, Hey, our Mac guys got the... I mean, our Snap-on guys got the 100th anniversary ratcheting screwdriver in red, blah, blah, blah. You want it? I was like, nah. I got the Mac, and I've got another Snap-on. But I use it like a regular screwdriver. <laughs> He's like, yeah. So, uh, that's the way I like to run them. I don't know. Something else I just got in, you know. Everybody's had the same old snap ring pliers that we've all had forever. Yep. Um, but you got to twist, take apart, mm -hmm. swap over. These are the push button ones now. Oh, cool. So, I have to turn the, turn the knob and get right. it all to line up. You just push the button and go from one to the other. That's pretty cool. So, just got these in. That's pretty cool right there. Well, I am very impressed with the 12 volt impact. It's strong. The Mac quarter or the DeWalt 3.8? No, DeWalt 3.8. It's a, it's a bad little dude. I've heard nothing but <laughs> good things. So, like, I'm looking forward to the half inch, big time. I don't know, is it stronger? Or is it the exact same? I color? think it's the same power, but you, you got the half ample size. Man, that's a bad little dude, man. It's bad. I'm very pleased. You know, that. if somebody's wanting something for the house, or I mean, you, you can use it to work with every day, but if you also want to impact for home, mm -hmm. to change tires on a lawnmower, change blades on a lawnmower, you know, got a flat on the car at home. Oh, that little thing will flip a damn lawnmower over. <laughs> you mess up, you mess up, didn't you steering wheel with it? <laughs> <laughs> Joker's bad. It sure is, man. I ain't kidding you. Like, it's very impressive because when you hold it, you're like, man, this little thing, it's like a toy. Yeah. Go ahead and get you a handful of that hoss. <laughs> it's bad. It'll fool you, huh? Yeah. yeah it's, it's pretty impressive. And I like the way they did the lights on it. Mm -hmm. That's the only impact when you stick it up in a hole. Because most of the time, guys set their light up that they're working with to shine on what they're looking at, right? So when you put your impact in there, what have you just done? You've Fox created the biggest gigantic shadow over what you're working on. Like every other impact, it's got that one little crappy light that shines up there. <clears throat> Not this one. It's got the three all the way around the head. Yeah, like you, you pretty much can use it for your work light when you're up in there. It's it's bright. I like it. I have zero complaints about that impact. Zero. Good. It's a good one. Something. Like it makes me want to add to that now and like completely get away from all the red stuff. If everything else runs as well as it does, that's where I want to be. I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. Oh, you guys. Um, test kit. I tell you, if you do a good bit of wiring or electrical testing, I found this kit and got it in the other day. That it is about 
complete as you can get. And it's not all jumbled up and you got to dig through your case to find it. Right. I mean, it's all labeled, nowhere to put them back to. That's a pretty nice one. I've got one that's like in an aluminum box with uh -huh. a clear top and they're so tight in there. It's yep. just... You pull half the box out trying to get out what you need. They're stacked on top of each other. Yeah. Uh, they go with giant mess. And I always break the little ones like this. I always break them. Well, actually this size. I always break them off and then you're stuck with half of them's broke. <laughs> so. Or if you don't have enough room in your box for this big old kit, take them out and put them in something smaller and mm -hmm. hey, go home, put your rattle traps in it and go to the creek. There you go. That's a nice kit though. But pretty expensive. Um, Cause I know the one in the aluminum box is very salty. I want to say this one was like 180. Okay. Yeah. So I mean. Better. Although it could be the tool trucks you buy it from. Cause I have noticed usually you guys on a lot of things are cheaper than the alternative to the other trucks. Right. <laughs> it could have been the truck that I purchased it off of was the difference. So, but that's nice. Very nice. And, uh, yep. To me, what I like best about it is how laid out and user friendly it is. Mm -hmm. Versus trying to dig through that little bitty box. Cause I've sold some of those little boxes like that before. And it's just like, it's just yeah, not it's, user friendly it's, at it's all. It's very compact design on that mm -hmm. for sure. Well, I am definitely, so you got the half inch DeWalt ordered. So I'm looking forward to getting my hands on it because it's a beast. I think I'm just going to grow that whole line out now because I like the, at three eighths well enough that that's where I want to go from here. I'm, it's they got it together. I like how light it is. That's my number one thing. I said it's light as a feather and strong as an ox. If this damn thing will keep running, it'll always have a home in my toolbox. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's a good one now. Well, so. I guess those stud removers will finish me off today. I'm thinking about those impact sockets because okay. I've actually got another set. I don't think mine's near that big, but take a look at them. And uh, that'll be that. All right, guys, like always, thank y'all for hanging out with us on this Thursday. It's almost the weekend, so y'all prep your plans and have some fun this weekend. Thanks for watching. If you like it, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes is down here in the description. And if you're not subscribed, it's the easiest thing you'll ever do. You take your finger and you press that button. It don't cost you a dime. Y'all have a great week. Catch you later. See ya.